Hi everyone, welcome to the pod test. Today, today we are going to discuss a very important topic, a very interesting topic, which is to understand how the application works. What are the different components of an application? What exactly is a three-tier ap- application? Working on a, if you are working, let's say you try to log into a Facebook, right? What exactly is happening behind the scene, and what all components takes care of what things as part of that application? and gives you a seamless experience while working on that application so let's start you're working on your laptop right and you wanted to access so this is your uh, this is your laptop right and you you have opened the uh, chrome browser and there you are trying to navigate let's say to facebook okay now what is happening here is you provide the uh, the name like uh, facebook.com right and what it does is like it goes the request is being sent there's a dns involved i'll not go into that part first but uh, since we are talking only about the application so let's let's focus on that only so let's say that uh, there is a facebook has let's say three tier so we are just assuming right we are assuming that uh, that facebook has implemented a three tier architecture now for the first block over there is the front end okay the second block over there would be back end and the last thing would be the database now let's first understand what are these three things right so anything you see on the ui right let's say on the chrome browser once you hit the url facebook.com right whatever you see on the ui is the responsibility of this front end to render all that information on your page now what happens is like this is this is the front end part so this is like the phase of the application so uh, so th- so it would have its own code and servers right after this th- there would be a backend backend is something like let's say that uh, y- you had that uh, username password and there was a submit button on that page right which you clicked on once you made a click right what what happened what front end did was on the click of this button it it uh, it requested an api call and that api call was sent to the backend now in the backend that uh, api call right was being uh, accepted and then uh, there was a f- and uh, based on the api call a specific function or a logic or, or a block of code gets executed within the backend and whatever the logic it has it it, it gets executed and let's consider that in that logic right there is a there is a logic to connect to db right and to see whether the user which you have provided here right the username which you have provided does it exist in the db or not so what is happening is you provided this information on the ui it got passed on to the backend via api so via api it got sent to the backend in the backend uh, based on the api name and the information which you passed on which is like username password and any other information right it all of this information got passed to that block of code or the function now within that function uh, a call was made to the database and then within the database a call was made to the database let's say that the call was like first to set up the connection between the to the database right second was like it it sent the sql query let's say the sql query was select uh, uh, is user allowed from users table where username equals to akhil right now the that query was sent to the database it got fired here right and based on the response it received on the db it then returned the response let's say it said that yes it returned a true value yes the user is is existing right now in the same backend function code right the logic would be written which would be absorbing this response 
and based on the response it would be taking the next actions so let's say that this is true right now when it is true the backend should allow the user to uh, move to the next page which is the profile page on the facebook so what will happen is it it accepted this uh, response from db and then after this it sent a response to the front end saying that okay again uh, as a api response so this api so this uh, api over here right has got the response over here so here the uh, let's say that uh, we 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 sent the adjacent response where it say that okay uh, allow user equals to equals to true okay now there would be a logic again on the front end written which would be uh, reading this response from the json and based on the response it will say it will it will now render our next uh, html page right or let's say the uh, next uh, next piece of code which which would result into rendering of the profile page on the ui so now what will happen is instead of the login page the user will be seeing a different page let's say the profile page so this is how things will be so now it it will be a profile page so if you would understand right what is happening is this is the first this is the first layer which is the front end okay this is the second component which is the back end part right so this is the second part of that three tier and the third part is the back end part sorry the db part which is the database right and this is the three tier so one two and three and this is what you term it as a three tier ap application this is and this is what you term as three tier application right so the first tier within this would be a front end which is like the ui of the application right second would be the back end where the processing of the api calls or uh, any other anything else which needs to be processed will be done and the third would be the database where the data would be stored so this is like the you can understand it in a way like this is the face right so this is like the face of the application right this is like the brain of the application right and this is like the db right like let's say the the memory right memory within that brain right so you can understand it in this way so and by combining all these three tiers together right this is how the application will work and will give you a response and this is how it will work this is a very simple explanation of uh, how things can be right but in reality things are more complex and this is not how the facebook would be would be uh, implemented right i have just taken up i have just assumed things here but just to understand just to make you understand what three tier architecture is i have taken that example but the the crux of the things are these this only you 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 have these three components and this is how things will work and you will get a response now you you would be having question why as a tester i need to know all this right this is not my area of work why i should be knowing this see first of all that that assumption that this is not your piece of area right to work on is not correct right when you are working on front end back end or that db right uh, let's say you are you are asked you are asked uh, in the project to test a feature on the ui right now uh, don't you think you you should be knowing like if you are clicking if you are submitting uh, uh, the details on the page and clicking on the a uh, done button on on that right you uh, there is a uh, you need to understand like where the data is going out right right it is not it is not being consumed on the ui itself it it has to be sent somewhere now that data is being sent on the backend right so the next question you should be asking within your project is to understand like what is our backend what is our backend right what tech stack we are using as a backend where exactly is that backend placed right there could be different answers to it and after that you need to understand like let's say okay the back end part is something which will be processing it but but eventually the data needs to be stored somewhere so there needs to be some some physical space or, or, or something right where the data will be stored which is which would be in your case would be a database so you need to understand like what kind of database you are using 
and uh, accordingly you you will have to learn like uh, the 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 processing language for it if you need to make a query to the database if you are using mysql cd sql commands if you are using let's say uh, 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 a, a no sql database right then you will let like, let's say cipher you will have to understand the cipher query how to write it, how to interact with the database right and accordingly your 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 inputs uh, to test right will vary if you are asked to test an api right this is where someone is asking you to test which is the backend part someone is asking you to understand what is the backend part if someone is asking you to test the database right this is where someone is asking you to test right the database side similarly on the api side the backend was part was there when someone is asking you to do an ui automation so this is the piece of uh, component which you are targeting right because here you will be checking like okay i made a click on the event now something has to happen on the ui let's say the page changes or, or a new section gets uh, shown on the page right so this is this is something which is happening on the front end now so now again uh, on the performance side let's say someone asks you to do a performance testing now what exactly where exactly the performance testing needs to be done right now uh, it could be done on two or three different places right the performance issues could be residing on the on the back end side let's say on the db side or even on the front end side right the logic to render the page may may have some issues right which can be identified after doing a performance testing similarly let's say there is an api call which where the processing itself takes a lot of time so that is that is something which you need to understand and let's say there is a deadlock or something on the database side on making a, a a query call so so performance testing requires you to understand like what all different components you have as part of your application and, and how it all works together right performance testing can be executed from front end side let's say that you have a you are you are told by your project saying that okay we wanted to we want to perform we do uh, we wanted to perform a performance testing uh, on this ui so over here what you will do is you will you will simply perform ui actions right and you don't care what is happening on the back end or something right but you will be monitoring the back end and database to see like what all what kind of load or or issues you are seeing within them but your 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 point of input would be from front end let's say someone asks you to do a performance testing on api so you are skipping the front end part right so you are you are not required front end uh, in that case in that case you need to understand the raw api uh, information you need to know like what all apis your project holds and accordingly you need to make a call and you can design your performance test so so what will happen is api being our api calls are being uh, made and uh, and uh, uh, subsequently some processing is happening and which is uh, uh, making a call to db and uh, fetching the value right and accordingly things are happening so so, uh, and so, so let's say someone asks you to do an api testing so uh, on back end side let's say you will be you will be using uh, postman you will be using rest assured karate or some or anything else right any other tool which is required to test the apis so you need to know like what is your backend what how to access those apis if there is an authorization required authentication required or some tokens required to to access those apis how how to do all that right so that is why it is very important to understand the architecture of your application right you don't have to design that architecture but you need to understand like where the different piece of codes are you need to understand what are what all different components you are are play in place right it it is like they are talking to each other and you need to understand like who talks to whom so that accordingly you can take your your decisions and uh, you you can incorporate that that information in making a decision for yourself and test it and test it more uh, diligently and you will have a better uh, use case better test case and uh, better execution and better results in the end i i just want you to understand that what is the importance of uh, all this information and how it will all help you so i hope uh, this was helpful and you learned something new out of it and uh, you would go back into your project and try to understand like what all these three components are maybe you you will find you will find some surprising answers those will something which is not matching to what i explained here but as i explained right things are more complex these are not as simple as it is being shown here i hope you enjoyed the session today and would have learned something new if you did please subscribe the channel and do share the content with others as well